Hey, first clear sky in a while. I'm so glad. Let's see if I can stay out here without getting stung by a mosquito that sucked blood. Yeah. A lot of um, judgments and everything lately. <laughs> Everywhere it seems like. I'm one of these people who love to get along with everyone. Um, even the people that don't like me. But I notice on some of these uh, websites lately, there are a lot of, there's a lot of uh, criticisms, judgments. I'm sure that's like that in the regular world is outside of, of the internet as well. Maybe it's all these energies coming down and bringing out things, I don't know. Um, I think sometimes people just get a little bit maybe jealous or something, you know. I don't know. It doesn't really concern me because lately, it's not me, but I'm just saying. Um, but we have to look above it and um, the bullfrog, <laughs> Oscar the peacock, yay. They all agree with me. Mosquitoes, too. <laughs> no, I just think, you know, we just have to... It's really all a matter of attitude, isn't it? It's attitude. It's what do we think, you know? What what do we feel? What are our thoughts? Because what our thoughts lie on is what will come into our... That's actually how you can even make someone like you that doesn't even like you. Um, but you have to buy it. You have to believe it. You have to. You, you can't fake. <laughs> you can't fake out the universe. The manifestation power. Powerhouse place. You can't, you know. It, it goes by your, your energy and your feelings. And um, your thoughts and everything might be saying one thing. And your energy, not so much. So, which we're calling feelings, yeah. So, if something really doesn't bother you, then it won't feel, you won't think about it, and I'm sure you won't feel it, so. And then, uh, sooner or later, even, especially if you're thinking nice things about the people, have you have good feeling thoughts about those people that don't like you, then they'll start to like you. It happens. <laughs> but you have to buy it. You have to buy into it. Yeah, they're attracted to all of this um, light around here. Um, yeah, also the same thing with, you know, you hear people all the time, even a little slightly off topic here feel things like they're bored or something. There really is no such thing as boredom unless you allow it to be in your um, your world. Because you can always make things exciting. You can always tell those stories to yourself that make um, excitement for you, that make you happy. So <clears throat> I heard that once from one of the my favorite actors, Viggo Mortensen, always used to say that there nobody should ever be bored the person who's bored is somebody who's not creatively you know I mean let's face it let's use our creative imagination here it's what we have it for and bring ourselves into a, a feeling happy good excitement feeling then even if you're just staying at home I know there's probably a lot of people who are bored these days because they don't get out much but you guess what? You can always imagine. You know, recently I started imagining. I mean, when I mean imagining, I mean really being there in the first person, putting myself like on a beach somewhere, like like um, on the in the, the Pacific and the South Sea somewhere, like <laughs> um, seeing the blue of the water and everything and really started to I actually was like almost for a minute 
really in a place. The same thing with when I see like a house I want and all of a sudden today during meditation time I started to actually see a room. It wasn't the room I was thinking about, a house, but it looked really, it was really nice. It was, I mean, it's like, wow. So it does work. Sometimes it may not always be as fast as we want it to, pronto, but um, if we get out of the way, um, our, our true self, our, our mighty I am presence, God presence within us, We'll do all of this. We'll, we'll make us. Um, we'll make those things come to us. Uh, we just got to get out of our own way by not having the fear, the doubts, the worries. That's, that's what blocks us from all our manifestations. So anyway, um, just wanted to say a little bit on that and uh, be happy. We spend so much time, if we would spend as much time being happy, positively excited, um, to feel with love, showing everyone love and everything. We would have such a miraculous world. Oh no, I think I hear a cat. Yay! Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> the cat's all of a sudden. Yeah! My aunt's cat. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's a, she always comes across the street. Yeah? Let's see if I could put you in here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Oh, come on. Where are you at, kitty? Come here. Come here. Well, I tried. Now all I'm getting for the mosquito. Oh, no. <laughs> come here. Anyway. And her name? Miss Kitty. Anyway, um, yeah, I will say um, have a wonderful night and a wonderful camel day ahead. <laughs> and um, one more time, where's the kitty at? Oh, I don't feel her anymore. Okay, over and out.